Yo, 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 GK Nation. GPS. The Go on Focus. Yo, what's up? Podcast. Oh, my God. Welcome to the podcast. An extension of the Go on Focus Kids Show. Introducing the host with the most. The great gun. Deep in it, kid. This is going to be fun. Because I'm Batman. Hey, welcome to the Grown Folks Kids Show. This is GPS. This is Grown Folks Podcast Show. Grown Folks Podcast An Show. An extension of the Grown Folks Kids Show. show. Yeah. Right yeah, on yeah. TV. I think so. On TV. Yeah, we on TV. We on TV. Coming, coming from Mama's Basement in Spokaloo, a.k.a. Spokane, Washington, the great Pacific Northwest. Man, we not in my mama's face. Man. But we in the basement. We, we in the basement, though. There hey, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Which is a couple grown dudes. Yep. That's right. You know, strong in our faith. Mm-hmm. Taking care of our kids. Mm-hmm. We, you know, we married. What? Okay. We doing our thing. All right. Taking kids all over to, you know, Walmart. There we go. You know, sport Walmart. games. Walmart. All over. Karate classes. Oh, man. This is what Ice we do. Skating. This is what we do. What we do. We're grown, but we handle our business, but we still keep a kid. There we go. And for those who uh, go <laughs> hey, go to our website, Grown Folks Kids Show, and you can check, uh, Grown check out. Grown Folks Kids shows right. dot com that's right you can check out our tv show okay on cmtv too uh, for those who are local here in spokane it's uh-huh. on channel 14 wednesdays thursday fridays at six o'clock probably was 6 30 oh 6 30 oh is it 6 6 30 o'clock but 6 30 6 30 6 30 don't right. miss it all right there you go there's my first blunt and, and and remember if you don't live in spokane mm-hmm. you can go to youtube Cause we need those hits. Hey, we need some hits, man. Cause we trying to go worldwide. Worldwide. We you know how hyped. you know how Titus do it. You know, worldwide. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that's how WWE. You know, he ain't seen him in a while. He might be. Uh, he might be down to uh, the lower level, getting reimagined. Yeah, you know we, we don't. We don't know what's going on with. We Titus. don't know what's going on, with Titus. But here, here's the thing. Speaking of uh, GPS, okay, that's the, our show. Our yeah, podcast. Show. That's our podcast. That's our, show. We got some things to navigate. Uh huh. Okay. You ready for it? navigating? You know, we are going to be famous, right? Hold, hold on, hold on. We can't navigate if they don't know who we are. Well, they don't know. They don't need to know who we are, which is who we are. Oh, so so I am what I say I am. Is I that am what, what you're I saying? say I am. All right, We are who we are. Rock him. But oh. just for those who want to know who we are, yeah. my name is Dre Irvin, the host with the most. This is my man. The great Gunny, the guy with the golden microphone. But his mic is gold. If you can see us on TV, he got the gold mic. The golden microphone. And you and know I'm what? Black. The melodious golden voice. Yeah, you are the golden voice. You're the golden child. He's a special one. He's the anointed one. I would like the night. Hey, guess what? <laughs> I got a scripture to start off with. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Lay it on me. Because this, this topic, I'm going to have to whip out some scripture. All right. Okay. All right. I know for some of those... We have to get biblical on this one a little bit because little, we're gonna talk about Hollywood, right? Uh oh, uh oh, Hollywood. Talk, uh, what? What? The, the music title. business? Oh yeah. Oh, because the title of this is Hero, Heroes, to Chumps. Chumps? Man, I ain't heard chumps in a while. So you must be. They must have really done something. No, they they, they done something. They they chumps, man. Woo. They nothing but chumps. All right. They were all, they were heroes, heroes, and now they're chumps. So here's the thing. All right. All right. So I'm going to read it. <clears throat> here we go. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So 1 Corinthians uh, it says 4 or 5 says, uh, Therefore judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes, who both do it, who uh, who both will bring to the light the hidden things of darkness. The hidden things. And will make manifest the counsel of the hearts manifest and it also says and then and then shall every man have praise of god but listen to the thing that i want to talk about this show uh bring to light the hidden things of darkness hidden things and will make manifest like it will show everybody what was going on behind Ooh, the scenes that's not that's a. Uh... Mm, that's opening up that closet. Hey, we're going to open up some closets. So we're going to talk about, of course, like, uh, for instance, let's get started. Hero to Chumps. Biggest hero, right? You ever seen that um, that uh, documentary, Surviving R. Kelly? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was a... Mm. That was a little... Ooh. Now, hold on. Like, take a drink. Hey, take a drink for that one. You might... Oh, that kind of drove... That, man, that made my voice drop. Man. Ooh, that was... That was pretty deep, That was pretty it? deep. 
and all these women coming out, mm -hmm. you know. Right, uh, right. You know, and, and a lot of these women were trying to break into the into the business, right? Especially the young teens, mm -hmm. you know. You know, we used to be in the music business for a while. You yeah, know, you have youngsters while. coming in, trying to come in, trying to break in. You know, you try to help produce them and stuff. You know, right? And some of these girls will come in; they're vulnerable. So you can t you it's it's if you're in a powerful position, right? Position of power, yeah. And you don't got your mind right, mm -hmm. you'd be tempted to take advantage of these vulnerable young ladies. Or women in general. Well, you don't even right. have to, it doesn't even have to come to people who don't have their mind right. Because a lot of these guys, their, their minds is right. It's just that we all know that the power, you know, Peter Parker, Uncle Ben. Oh, what did Uncle Ben say? Uncle Ben said, with great power comes what? Great responsibility. That's right. So That's right. That's heavy right. is the head that wears the crown. That's right. So it, you don't have to be a bad person. I mean, well, to do some of those things. Some so, things. Well, some of these things that we gonna Man, shine a light on, shine. Right, right? You know, but what I'm saying is, right. is that people who have this power sometimes they succumb to the peer pressures of wanting to keep the power, mm -hmm. you know. And then there are some who was uh, some might not even start off like no. Right? Some were vilified before they were vilified, you know. Some were desecrated, right. and they right. had no other way of going. But uh, so let's, let's see what. Yeah. So but here's here's what we're talking about. This is yeah. what we're talking about. So. Because this is not just about R. Kelly. No, it's not just no, about no, R. No, Kelly. No, 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 because he's an example. We're going to bring up other examples, yeah. okay, to bring out one point, right? right. Uh, so it's here with the chunks. And so here's the thing. Uh, we're going to spend a half hour on this. And so we're going to talk about, like, like, for instance, okay, let's talk about the hero phase. The hero phase. Let's talk about the things that made R. Kelly special. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. My personal favorite album when I was doing my thing back in the day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, was that uh, I like the Red album, the R. You like the R? I like the R album. Man, I, I was I was more of a 12-play guy myself. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? What's man, some, that, songs, man, what some of the songs What some of the songs? you remember the most? Man, your body's calling. Your body's calling. Me. Oh, Seems like you're... Nah, I didn't do that right. Hold on. Yo, no, I ain't going to sing it. Your body's... Can you do it? No, no, we're not going to do it because I ain't trying to get sued. Oh, you know, R. Kelly need that money. I'll get sued. You can say that. But no, you don't want to call you know, it. You don't want it because... You know, you're good. You're a man of faith now, right? You don't yeah, want to get all I'm not super going, sexual. I'm not bumping and grind. Mm. Bumping grind was on there man, too. Was it bumping grind? Bumping grind was on the 12th play. Man, I'm telling man, man, back in there, you know how you know man, how I was, he had a song. Look, look, man. I liked R. Kelly. What's up? And he had all these songs, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. now that I'm older, right? Man of faith, right? You know, and you know, and and I'm not perfect. No, but, we're but, not but, perfect but, at all. But not but one I, but, but as a father, right? I wouldn't want my little girls and boys to be mm -hmm. singing these songs. And it right. took me a while to, to understand it. But once I went back and when this was brought to light, right. we kind of knew what was going on in R. Kelly's head from the get-go. Well, 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 once it been brought to the light. Right. But that you didn't you didn't know who he was talking about well, until he connected with Aaliyah and married Aaliyah. And you're like, well, wait even, a minute. Even when he connected to Aaliyah, Aaliyah and, and Lee. Yeah. So, but we didn't so, really oh, was connect. Was 27? That. She was 15 or something yeah, like that? But that was yeah. around the same time these albums were coming out. Yeah. Well, here's so, the thing. Like, like for instance, you know, uh, we're still staying in the hero phase. I think we've gone into the chump phase we're too quickly. Let's, oh, let's oh, go well. back to the hero phase for a second. Because we got to understand, R. Kelly... Well, it became an American icon. He was like the black Mozart of this generation. Oh, yeah. You know, a mm -hmm. brilliant songwriter. Br I mean, a brilliant, brilliant songwriter, songwriter. Brilliant he vocalist, knew exactly what, you know? He yeah. knew exactly how to tap into the consciousness. He was the Pied Piper. The Pied Piper. Of I mean, R&B. blowing. Of everybody. Of but that was that's what he was everybody. called, the Pied Piper of R&B. He was the Pied Piper of R&B, and, and he had that title for a reason, you know? Like, you know, like those video uh, slash movie. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, like Trapped Mr. in the Big. closet, Mr. Tra Big. With Mr. Big and Sparkle, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> Be yeah. careful. Be, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, uh, uh, down low. Down low. You know, I mean, he had hits after hits. After oh, yeah. Hits, oh, yeah. Every album hits, had hits on after it. After hits. Right. So he became uh, an American icon, you know. Even though once he, when he gave himself to God, and he did that, mm -hmm. uh, those uh, yeah, he, he he tried to uh, he did cleanse it. himself. He tried to cleanse himself, right? He tried to dip into his faith a little mm -hmm. bit, right? Okay. 
I got into preaching mode for a, for a few moments, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, all right. And listen, we listen. Uh, this is America. You know, I'm a man of second, third, fourth chances. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We live mm-hmm. by grace alone. You know what I'm saying? So that's right. why I can't judge nobody, nobody else, no matter how Christian or whatever Christian or whatever faith. It'll make a difference. Faith. Yeah, it doesn't make it, a difference. It, it, it doesn't matter because we can't judge. We each all other. fall short. We all fall short, right? Okay, so I'm not judging our kids. This is not a a judgment type of. Podcast. Uh, podcast. We ain't judging. We're but just we shining a light. Shining a light because we the things are changing, right? Right. So, uh, uh, people like Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Right. right. Man. Now, here's another uh, hero. He allowed us to feel like, wow, wait a minute. You're telling me if I just go to school, get my education, okay, get my degree, mm-hmm. maybe get a master's, maybe get a PhD, I can have... Uh, 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 a beautiful wife because she still looked like the way she still looked back in the, in the eighties. Felicia Rashad. How old is she age? Man, she, 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 man, wait a minute, man. She's a Highlander, is she? Man, she might be she a vampire a or something, man. She ain't aging. Felicia she Rashad. Vampire. She still look good. She's still the same. She still, still look like the good, same man. Almost. Felicia I'm Rashad good, still man. look good. You know? All right, all right. So, anyways, but yeah. Because uh, I used to be like, man, she how much younger is she than Bill Cosby? Because mm-hmm. he gets older, she still looks like she's this, right. You know. Anyways. Uh, uh, here's the thing, you know, people like, you know, you, you, are you kidding me? I can, as a black man, I can have a black family in middle class, uh, upper middle class, and, 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 have, and yeah. have my kids go to college and look at the American dream because it's not just for white they folks. They were more than upper it's, middle it's class. It's not just for white people, it's for everybody, but right? Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, it's for everyone, They made right? you feel like you could actually reach out right. and grab that piece of the pie right. that they used to talk about on the Jeffersons. Right. Right. You, know? you, 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 you watch them and they were an American model on how a black family, the, 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 the levels that we can reach. Oh, yeah. With oh, education. Yeah. yeah, no glass ceiling. And then, you know, he comes up with kids shows like Little Bill. Yeah, they had the, the, the Sam Fat Albert, Fat the Albert day, you know, yeah, books. Yeah. yeah. You, you see what I'm Bill, saying? Bill was put in a position, man. He was the first... He was the first black man to star on a TV show. Man, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And he was considered one of the most powerful men on television. Oh, yeah. He, Forget yeah. what color he is. Yeah, yeah. He was one of the most. He was he was it's something the, with Oprah. He was in the prime, he was in the prime position right. to buy NBC. He could have, man, listen. He could he could have bought it. He could buy it. In, he could have had his own network. Oh yeah, he, he could have ran for no, president. No, he was going to if have his own network. If he would have ran for president, network. people probably would have voted for. People him. probably would have voted for and Bill. It, and and it, you know what? I up? think that's what Bill should have done. And Instead of <laughs> trying to buy the TV, <laughs> but we'll get it. That's we'll get that's that. for a conspiracy. Yeah. Episode. So so the thing is is that these guys were held high on a pole, and what went wrong, Charles? What what went wrong? Well, went right wrong. How they go from heroes to chumps? And you know, we all know they all have their own mental health issues. That you know, you don't know what how people are behind the scenes on TV. Right. Okay. Well, give me, give me, give me your thoughts. Well, you figure. All right. So, a lot of a lot of it is is that people finally decided that they weren't going to take it anymore. They what? They weren't going to take it anymore. They you they mean? were they were tired of being the victim. They were tired of being held down. Mm-hmm. You know, it seems like these guys made a lot of promises to get a lot of things and never fulfilled on their promises. Right? You know, now Bill might have fulfilled on a few promises and these things just never came to light mm-hmm. and they came to light after the Me Too movement. But right. it seems like there were a lot of women in R Kelly's life in Bill's life, and Harvey Weinstein's Harvey life. Harvey Weinstein is good you know? for bringing him up because yeah. he's not black. Yeah, he's not black. And so he's still right. not being vilified the way he should be. He's, oh, well, he, he's, he's getting something, man. He's he lost a lot. He lost a lot, right, but right. Bill Cosby in jail. Well, I you mean, see what well, I'm that saying? how long it took it because Harvey does. Weinstein is still in the process yeah. of... Uh, well, uh, and right now, it, Harvey Weinstein's walking around well, spending that money. Well, we'll see. We'll so see what we'll see. We'll see. But back to this. The point is, is that... You know, all it takes, you know, you know how a dam breaks. Right. It takes one leak. Right. To cause a crack. Mm-hmm. And then it spreads and separates, and then the flow comes. Right. And the flow has come. <laughs> and this doesn't even 
This you reap what you sow. Oh man! You know how mom, mom used to, was a, boy, you being a heathen, going out heathen. there, listening to that devil, devil music, and, and, and you going out there, hanging out with these girls and doing all these things, you know. And it's like, uh, 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 you reap what you sow. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't need another one of these. I'll, I'll keep, keep these. I'm yeah. talking about certs and stuff. Right. Anyways, um, uh, I may well take a little drink. Hold on. <coughs> I had to do you reap what you sow, boy. You know, yeah, man. I did that heathen. But uh um, uh, but man, you know, cause uh you, you can put it whatever, other religions or whatever, you get back well, what you faith put it, into the universe, you know, uh, whether you believe in karma, this, karma or karma, whatever. It's the same stuff, it's right? It's the same thing. It, it whatever what comes seed, around, go, whatever what comes, goes around comes, comes around. around. Whatever seed you put into the soil, that's the tree you gotta eat, right? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. We had to go a couple mm, old ladies with a mm, 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 mm. child. I tell mm, you what, mm. no. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. These guys, and I'm glad this whole because it's just not about so much of the Me Too thing. Because this, I'm happy that, and we'll go further into this because where are we at? 16 minutes, 16. Okay, all right, okay. All, right, all right. We got a little more time. So we'll go into it a little bit later. But, uh, uh, you know, who's the really... Uh, play? I'm glad these things were happening. Everything's coming out. Right. Okay, because if my daughter wants to get into the entertainment business... <sighs> okay. Yeah. You know? Uh, entertainment, uh, sports, sports, anything. Whatever they, yeah. You know? Because you know There how, are coaches out there that are... That are getting it, Matt. You know, and to be and to be perfectly honest, man, come on. There, there, there are men of faith who right. have been doing this. Oh yeah. So oh, we're yeah. not just harping oh, on. Yeah. We're just not harping on Hollywood industry. Oh, we're yeah. harping on all. of We want the light we to go be down. Listen, you know, everybody, got, everyone well, does dirt. Got busted but dirty. this, yeah, yeah. using your power of influence there or your talk, power. Talk about. It. Talk, of, to, talk to talk to that talk your, to that your, camera right there. Using your power to get what you want from those who have no understanding. Yeah. Those who are weak. Vulnerable. Those who are vulnerable. Yeah. That is what we, I mean, I can't even, I can't even, you'd have to go out and see. Go back and look at the music and the movies and the stories and see the tale of time of how those of a power have abused women and men to right. put themselves to try to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, because Terry Crews came Terry out. Terry Crews, Corey you know? Feldman. And then, people you know, laughed at Corey Feldman for years about yeah, Harvey Weinstein and all these other people. Laughed at, at him. And then when it comes out, it's like, man, right. people have killed themselves. Now you have to go back and look. Did right. these guys really die of drugs? You know, did what, what, you know what I'm you saying? You know how hard it was probably for Terry Crews? A man, a man of his that's, stature. Uh, his stature. Bubbling, you know, with the whole playing bongos oh, with his chest. Yeah. You know, Man, hold on, I'm going to try to do it real quick. Hold on. Uh, you ain't got enough. I don't All got enough. Right. You ain't got right. enough. We hold don't. on, I got to get my protein shake on. Hold on, give me a second. I'll get my no. protein. Go hit the weights real quick and get that protein shake, man. You know what I'm saying? And be like, yeah, brother. Yeah, that's how I do it. That's how I'm doing it, brother. <laughs> you know, what you going to do when the drainator hits okay, you? Okay, now we dropped into the yeah, Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We got went, in the restroom. My bad. Hogan, he's got I, his own things to yeah, do Yeah, my fault, man. Yeah, my all fault. Right. My fault. Sorry, I all got right. into the restroom. We're supposed to stay in the social media <laughs> right here we go. All right, all right. So, anyways, you know how hard it, man, Terry Crews, as a black man, mm-hmm. Who could have risked? Because this is how Hollywood does it. You know, right. if you hit the blacklist, don't mess with you list because you're, you're a snitch. Right. Yeah, game, yeah, he game was... rules play in Hollywood. Oh, man. You're a yeah, snitch. You ain't going to get no jobs. Snitches get stitches. Man. Man, get blacklisted. Hey, look dude. at Monique. But look. Yeah. Look at yeah. Monique. Monique is a great example. A lot, a lot of people are a great example. Because right. uh, I, 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 I was going to go to somewhere else. I'm going to leave that alone. But, uh, <laughs> uh, uh. uh Here's the thing, because even with Terry Crews, mm-hmm. you know, he was just a bodyguard on the set on Friday. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And so he literally came from the bottom to the God. top. Yeah. I mean, from the bottom yeah. and worked his way up to be one of the world's biggest uh, stars. Yeah. You know, somewhere close to the rock. He ain't gonna take my. He ain't taking no, my he, place as the third most interesting man in the world. Up there with He's the number rock, five yeah. behind he, me. He, he, makes, he, he up there with. Uh, I'm number three. Man, let's see who who he up there because he ain't up there with the Rock, but he up there, but he ain't up there with the Rock. Yeah, yeah, he, he he might, but he's up he, there, he's close. He he a little under. It goes the Rock, it goes Jason Momoa, and then it goes me. 
<laughs> and it goes Terry ter, ter, ter Crews, maybe. You know what I'm no, saying? Man, you got Vin Diesel. You got nah, Vin, nah, Vin Diesel, he, man. He, he, I'm he, just he, saying, I, he yeah, still nah. make. He's in well, Jason anyway, Statham. But you know, man, Jason Statham's a bad dude. He's man. getting up at the man. He's getting up there, boy. So anyway, okay. especially when that Hobbs and Shaw come Ooh. out, man, I might be in trouble. I might lose my spot. You might lose another spot, dude. <laughs> boy, that's gonna be a good one for those who don't know. You better go see that. Man, you better go man, see that. Something different than the fast. All right, come on. Let's get back. Let's get back to this. So. How, man, coming out. So this ain't just about women who's also vulnerable as victims, too. It's oh, men, yeah. too. It's called abusing power mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, to uh, stay in king status. Oh, yeah. To, to, to stay in charge, you know. The and here's the thing. These power that these guys think they have, it's just mm -hmm. only a little bit, though. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. a flip side I, to all I, of this. Maybe yeah. Weinstein has some serious power. Oh, yeah. That's, Harvey that's, Weinstein that's, has that's some serious, serious power. power. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But um, um, chime in more on this. What do you think? Well, all right. So here's the deal, man. Because I think we 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 see the the we we have the heroes, and right. we've talked about their fall in the chumps. But there are those who are heroes, right? And they got away with it, and no right. one's shining the light on it. Well, it was coming in the dark. No, 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 no. But it's, time. No, I'm not talking about what they're doing. Oh, okay. I'm talking about what they gave. The, oh the, yeah, people the subliminal. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah right, you know, right, right, you know, right, right, right. Man, my biggest one, mm -hmm. and it took me to go by because this was my this was my younger brother Richard's favorite movie, Belly. Belly, okay. Right. You can go back to Belly. Old school Belly. Where we so, talk about Belly? The so, Max. So this is how I'm looking at it, man. I think, and this is, and uh, I'm gonna say this. I think blind. I think black people are blind, right, to certain things that's hidden in plain sight. You what, got. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you got DMX. He plays uh, uh -huh. Tommy Buns, right? Right. And according and accordingly, Tommy Buns, who has a girlfriend named Keisha, right? Uh, she's an adult. Mm -hmm. Tommy and Keisha, they do their thing, right? But he's also involved with an underage girl who's about sixteen or seventeen, okay. give or take. You know. Okay. All right. All right. And at the time, her name Kiona. Mm -hmm. I believe it's Kiona. She's a minor. She's a minor. Yeah. She All reveals right. to Keisha, she goes to Keisha, and she was, and says that when I was underage, Tommy didn't want to have sex with me, and, uh, because she was too young. Okay. But she says she would perform oral sex on him. Ooh. And they, and they showed this when they were in the car. What? Yes. So, Belly came out in 1998. Right. There was no outrage about this scene. Mm-hmm. There was no wondering why, pe you know, and then. Right, I got you. So so you figure, uh -huh. if if we were accepting this, mm -hmm. why you think people are still defending Bill Cosby and R. Kelly? No, no, listen, you can go back and listen to some of R. Kelly songs. No, 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 I'm, but I'm just saying. All right, right, right. But they're now that we know who we he's know, really talking to. We know who he's really, what right. he really is and what he's well, really so doing. So then let me ask you a question. And, we, and they still defend it. Let me ask you a question. Who's Women! the Women! Or defending oh, him. Hey, women are defending R. Kelly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, because because see, once it's like that when we get into this whole me and you get into this, everybody gets into this LeBron James versus Michael Jordan. I always say it's a hard argument because people put Michael Jordan on God status. Right. And once we have a God that we worship, no, no, I once, we, yeah. once a human being gets to God status, like any civilization for the last uh, uh, for your creationists, yeah. six thousand years for your non-creationists, <laughs> last two billion years. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, anybody that puts anybody to God status, you see, what I'm saying you can't argue about my. You can't tell me my God right. is bad, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And so then what happens? Wars start happening over fighting over each other's gods, right? Right. So now once these people become God status, you know, no matter what they do, people are gonna find a way. To worship these people, right? Oh no, you're so right. So who's to blame? Fans? Or uh, parents? Somebody? I mean, or the, just this the way society is. I mean, I, I'd hate to say it's the way about social. I hate to say it's the way society is, but yeah, it is. It We've is. been brainwashed to accept pedophilia yeah. at a level yeah. that you know, we we all know that there are that there's a there's an underlining uh acceptance of pedophilia right at a certain level at life you know all right all so, right i mean well, explain yourself i mean so, real quick check bbd because we're at we're at the 24 
minute and 42 okay. second mark. Remember the song, Do Me Baby? BBD. Yeah, do me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do yeah. me, so, baby. But remember, oh, sorry. Hey, that, sorry. If you saw me on TV, I was kind of getting my... He's getting his little, he's getting right his little herky uh, jerk. Uh, oh, doing but, this stuff these kids but, do. But you, you remember, you uh, remember, the, remember the rap? The rap part? The rap part of it? You want me to rap it out? No, I'll no, no. It. I'm just saying, I'll, I'll do you remember? Yeah, you, I remember. You know, yeah, backstage. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, underage, yeah. adolescent. Yeah. Fine, you know. BBD was doing it. Hey, man. man. And you know when BBD How you doing? Man. Fine, she replied. Yeah. I saw it. I like to do the wild thing. Why would you even say something like that right. to a woman or right. a girl right. who was adolescent? You, you're saying right. this is how you felt about whether oh, right there whether the y'all wrote it or right. not. Right. You know, because Michael Bivens comes out and says that Buster Rhymes wrote it. So regardless of whether Buster Rhymes wrote it or not, right. you had a choice right. to say this. Right. Right. To influence right. Right. others. Right. You know, we all know it's those. right there in the BBD lyrics. I mean, yeah. I and mean, when you listen to this, because, you know, man, back in the, when we was in junior high and that, that came out, mm -hmm. all we can hear. All the time. All the time. Every, it was on the radio. Over. And over. And over and and over and again. Over, over again. Look at it. But with these songs and right. all these things going. Remember when you was in but middle school? But that's the power of music and in video. Well, ask yourself. When What's you was up? in middle school? What's up? Do you remember the girls getting picked up by the, the older guy? Yeah. The drug dealers? Yeah. The ones with, But they yeah. were. I wanted to be they like them. Four, I, I tried to hang they out with four, them because they had they all the girls. They were 14, 15. Yeah. But all the girls wanted to be with them. Yeah. So when you was in high school, so when I was they would still the get picked up. Yeah. When so, I, man. It's accepted to a, 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 to a degree. Right. Because... Parents knew it's just not a it's it's not it's just not one culture's thing. So well, this is a, a worldwide acceptance. No, it is. It is. Until it has been part of civilization for a long time. Yes. So, until uh -huh. the people that we expect to right. have better morals, right, do it. Do it right. It's okay but, for Pookie, right, until it's either your daughter. Right. Or Pookie gets some kind of standard where he shines a light and on the culture. Here's the thing, because uh, we're running out of time. All right. Uh, here's the thing, because Bill Cosby was a shock. Oh, it, because R. Kelly, you kind of knew when this Survivor R. Kelly came there. out, you're like, okay, we already know. We knew something was right, going on. We knew something was going on, because after he married uh, 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 Aaliyah, we, it threw the whole, everybody's, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Aaliyah? And her parents signed off on uh, it, oh, too. That's a whole different man. Yeah. We could go further We can go into, into that. That could be another podcast. But here's the thing. Go on. We only got about three minutes. All right. Here's the thing. Is now that uh, what's coming out from the dark into the light, okay? Uh, what does Hollywood do? If you could chime in real quick. Uh -huh. What do we do to protect vulnerable men and uh, vulnerable women and men? I want to say women first, okay? Because mm -hmm. there's majority women who are vulnerable, trying to get gigs, trying to be part of something. Right. And they have to do all these special favors to mm -hmm. get a gig. Mm -hmm. All right? What can they do now to protect these women? In your thoughts, what should we, should be happening? Uh, what can be done? Or is everything going in the right direction and just allow the process to develop? No, it's not going in the right direction because now we, we people have stopped talking about it. Those, the, the, Stop talking about it. Dude, let me tell you. All right, all right. There was an uproar, and I'm, uh -huh. I'm going to keep this quick. Right. There was an uproar. There was a big thing. There was the Me Too movement. Right. Then there was the These People movement. And there was the These People movement. And then there was this. And at the moment, right. that was the flavor of the month. Right. So you think things are quieting down. It's things going back are to quieted normal. down and things right. are going back to normal. Now, right. granted, there are some people who are get, still getting, you know, because the law moves in its own, it moves at its own pace. So you should have, should we have but, some oversight uh, type of, uh, if it's through a policy, through a law, uh, through a special department. But there uh, are that, laws that do. There are departments for this. The problem is... Mm -hmm. The people in charge are doing it too. So we just got to find ways to help hold people in charge accountable by continuing to come out. Because now you can come out. There's already there's an automatic right. invest. If you're guilty or not, there's an automatic investigation of things now. So it's just about people coming out. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yes right. and no. You know, All because right. the man on top, it's come out on him too. Well, okay. And yeah. That's right. It's and it's still. I think it's safer for people to come out now. Oh, no, no. And Most so, doubt it's right, safer right. to come out. You will out. not come out you against won't, a, you won't, a, a you studio won't, president. Yeah, you wouldn't come out against the studio. No. Man, there's people blacklisted. coming out against the president. Yeah, right. So, right. But the, you know, so right. it's safer to come out. Right. But whether you get justice or not is a different story. Well, yeah, that's a whole different story. Hey, so uh, 
you know, we're kind of wrapping this up. You know what I'm saying? I like that. This was a good I'm topic. always getting Ooh, cut off when this, I get hot. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Hey, for those you want to hear some more information about our show, okay, this is GPS, the podcast version of the Grown Folks Kids Show. Uh, go online. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Really check out the Facebook site. Check out the Facebook uh, you site. You got to because we post up new stuff all the time. Check out the, the website. Right. You got to check out Get the, on the website. website. Because if Real. you can't find us, you right. can find us everywhere we just said right. on the website. By just saying Grown Folks, Folks Kids, Kids show. show, you can put a Z or an S. Doesn't okay. matter. And dot com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and do no Snapchat. No put Snapchat. Say, yeah, sorry, hey, youngsters. Snapping. Sorry, youngsters. And you can find That's us your more. Snap. And then for lo- those local again, Channel 14, Spokane, Washington, 630, Wednesday, Thursday, Spoken Friday. Loop. I am Dre Irvin, the host with the most. This is my main man. The great gunny. You Tra- know it, the man bro. with the golden mic, with the Charles golden Brown. Microphone. And hey. we coming at you. And you know what? Stay kid. Peace out. <laughs> yeah, that was fun.